So now that we've got the height, right, do you see the marking? We've got the height. This wax is really hot, so let's dip it back into our bowl of water and let it cool down. So take it out, dry it with a paper towel, and now you have something that's hard and it's ready for you to start, you know, doing some more work on. So the next thing I like doing is I like taking down, cutting the posterior extent. Okay? So put it on your um, your cast to line up the markings. And so let's transfer this marking up here. Okay? So at the top it's going to be where your marking is. Okay, so make a little oops. At the top is going to be, you're going to mark it where your marking is. So you want it to make it like perpendicular to the arch. Right, so you don't want it like straight with the cast. You don't want to make it, I don't know, look weird, you know. So perpendicular with the base. So the other side too. It's right here. Perp Ugh, I'm so tired, sorry, I've had class all night. Perpendicular with the arch. Okay, so here is my trick. I take a buffalo knife and I lightly heat it. Okay, lightly heat it and when I cut, I'm gonna cut at an angle, okay? So I'm gonna start up here where I made my marking, but down here I'm gonna end up like a millimeter out. So lightly heat your buffalo, buffalo knife and cut. Let's see. Cut that. I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys. <sighs> Cut at an angle. So you see how I have it angled, you know, angled back? Angle it a little and let's cut straight down. Make sure your buffalo knife is a little warm because it'll be easier for you to cut. Okay, so cut, take off that extra. Simple as that. See, so now you have a nice cut, nice and clean. And let's do the same to the other side. Clean off your buffalo knife as you go. And let's cut again. So at an angle, a little bit of an angle. Right. Cut all the way around, take it off. Okay, so nice. Okay, so now, as you can see, I'm missing a little wax here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt it a little and just shape it with my fingers. So if you're if you have a hole like that and you need wax, you can add wax. So torch, add a piece, torch that piece. And then use like something so you don't burn your finger. You just kind of can't see that. Push it into place. Okay. So there. <laughs> so since I kind of messed up the back, I'll just cool this down again and cut it again. Now that we've got our arch, it's kind of messy, kind of fat. Um, next time, well, don't do what I did. So instead of adding so much wax, you can take some of it off and squeeze it to the right, like closer to what you want. But anyway, let's continue. So now you have your markings for your alveolar ridge, right? Here, to here, and here, to here, right? So you're gonna take a ruler you're going to look straight down, put your ruler here, line it up there, right? And then apply a little bit of pressure and you will get a line. I don't think you guys can see that. Here, I'll draw it. On your cast, or on your rims, don't draw it. Just use the ruler and cut. So just for teaching purposes, I'm gonna draw the line so you guys can actually see. So now, 
draw the line on the other side too. Again, don't draw this on your cast. Just use the, this and like make a line or you can cut it with like a knife or whatever. Okay, so now taking it back to what we did before. Eight, seven, six, five. So what I'm gonna do across this line is I'm going to measure. So at the very end, posterior extent. Okay, so at the posterior extent, that's where we are, posterior extent, you wanna have eight. So you'll mark four on one side. So I take my knife and I mark four on one side. Four on the other. And there's your eight. Right? Okay, so there's your eight. Then you move up to where the premolars would be. So about there. Right? And you would mark three and a half. And three and a half. And then you go to the canine region. You mark like six and six. I mean three and three to make a six. So three. And three. Okay. And then in the front, because it's perp perpendicular now, you don't want to touch anything. So you start from the beginning, the very edge. Right? And you mark a five. So, this is what I found helps me. Take your knife and connect all the marks you made. So, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see it, so I'm going to do it with a marker. So, here's the four, the three and a half, and this is the six. Right? Here's the other side. Here's the eight. And here's the five here. So, what you want to do is make a nice U. Right? So there you kind of have like an idea of what your arch form should look like. Okay. So now, the question is how are we going to take the wax off? So there's multiple ways you can do this. For the outside, you want to take it out, take off the wax on the outside. Use the bottom as your guide and just taper it in. So you're going to take off, don't take off any in the bottom. The record base will stop you from taking off too much and then end up with that line, okay? So you can either use a hot plate, right? Heat it up and then just push this until it melts. You can use this wooden spatula because this is pretty flexible, right? It's not, this is not the same spatula we use for alginin and stone and stuff. This is wooden, it's flexible and so you can heat this up just like a hot plate and use this and melt, melt away. So get it nice and hot. And melt away to the line. Right? So you can do that. What I found that helps me, because I feel like it has more control, is I actually use a buffalo knife. So a little bit of heat. Use the bottom as a, as a guide and cut. So you actually go in and you cut. So start shaving away. Don't go straight to the line right away. Just kind of shave it. Right? This is really helpful for, I think, in the back because, or in the inside, because there's not a lot of space for a lot of tools. So just shave away. Remember, you want it to taper. You don't want any holes. You don't want any gaps. So you, you're resting the bottom of the, ni the knife, and you're just shaving away. Fair enough. Right? A little bit of heat. Just a little. You don't want it to melt. So just a little bit of heat. Right? So let's do the same for the inside.